Welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how to create an email sequence. So you hover your mouse over here, email and CRM, go to sequences and click add sequence. Or you can alternatively, you can just click manage sequences and you will be on this page and click this button, create new sequence. Let's give this sequence a name, right? Let's say Blue Widget Customers. Description is the same. Click continue. Okay, make sure this status is active. And I can choose a persona from the drop down list here because I only have one persona currently. Then that means that I can only have, I can only choose this persona. You can add more personas over here. Persona is, is very self explanatory. Persona is just basically like um, the from name. Uh, you can add multiple personas inside your account. Okay, so let's uh, continue here, go to steps. Now with the sequence, you can have two kind of steps. The first one is email message and the second one is action rule. Let's talk about the email message first. Emails, email message is of course, emails that you're going to send out to your contacts, right? So let's say you want to add three email messages. One time, I click one, drag and drop second time, drag and drop third time, okay? You can rearrange the order from this one to this one, you can see it changes the number. Let's say this one, three becomes one, right? And you can click the here, you can click the gear icon or the text itself to uh, to expand the settings for the step. Okay, click one more time and it will hide the settings, or you can click expand all to expand all these settings for the steps. Okay, so send zero. It says set zero for immediately. So if you set zero, this means that after the contact has subscribed to your sequence, this email will be sent immediately. If you want your, it to be sent three days after they subscribe to your sequence, then enter three. I'm going to put a zero here. And the second message I'm going to um, send is three days after previous step and four days after previous step. Note this, note that this three days is after the previous step, okay? and four days after this step. Okay, so it's not four days after they subscribe, but actually if you take a look here in this example, it's going to be seven days after they subscribe because you have to four plus three. It's four days after this step number two. So I'm going to select my message. Let's say I'm going to select welcome. And second message, I'm going to uh, select this one. What did you think about the product? Uh, when you have a lot of messages, it's going to, uh, you don't want to, spend time to go down the list one by one because it will take you quite some time. A better way, a faster way is to type in the keyword here and the system will filter out the message. So for example, this one, you can just type in this one. Let's say I want to review, type in review and click enter and I can select the message easily and quickly. Okay. And whenever I want to create a new message, I just, I can click this one message name and click create and the message name will be available over here okay now in this video i'm not going to talk about how to edit the content inside these messages because what we have done is we have only created a temporary or placeholder email message this one but we haven't actually edited the content inside the email right I'm going to show, the show that in the next video, but for now I want to show you another kind of action step, which is another kind of step, which is action rule. So you can drag and drop whenever you want. If you drag, drag and drop over here, it will become the, it will update two and three. You'll put it over here. The number three will get updated to two. So we can before this one, as you can see. Okay, I'm going to put it at the, let's say, between three and four. I'm going to collapse this. You can expand and collapse this. So I'm going to put this between three and four. Okay, like this. So you can click here to expand. And same thing, you can execute this action rule X days after the previous step. Okay, so the rule that we have available are this one is very self explanatory. You can add contact to sequence, remove contact from sequence, remove contact from all sequences, add tag to contact, remove tag from contact, and so on and so on. So let's say that I want to, you can also specify 
this one so this means that if you check this box this means that this step will only be executed if this if the following if this one is true so for example let's say that for some reason this is a blue widget customer that for some reason if this contact has been subscribed to blue widget customers then add tag to this contact at the uh, blue widget to this contact sorry it has not been has not been tagged right here okay has not been tagged with uh, blue widget then you want to do this or you can uncheck this this means that whenever this a day after the previous step this rule will always be executed because there is no additional condition okay i can uh, for example uh, give access to a product i can uh, set the value of a field okay and so on and i can add new action over here as many as you want and if i want to delete one of the action just click the red x button so basically this is just like this is uh, looping the options available here are exactly the same as this one they are basically just looping okay i'm going to click x for now and i'm going to i want this one and go to contact blue widget okay and then i can i can add as many as i want for example here add another one and drag and drop it here if i don't want just I, I, if i don't want this step i just need to click the delete button confirm okay okay and then i need to save my settings okay so in the next video i'm going to show you how to actually edit the email messages